Hello and welcome, you're watching Head to Head on UATV and I'm Alex Gerdjuk. Though Ukrainians are a creative people, we always search for ways to learn from others. As the latest proof of that, a creative workshop was held recently here in Kyiv, hosted by the renowned Italian graphic designer Giuseppe Liuzzo. Today we welcome him to our studio to learn more about the workshop and the opportunities it provides for Ukrainian students. Hello and thank you for joining us today, oh, Mr. Liuzzo. Thank you very much. So, I know that you worked for many Italian and international companies and you also worked with various design legends, including Milton Glaser, who created I Love New York Symbol. So, you have all this great experience. How would you... What's your impression about Ukrainian uh, students that attended your workshop? Okay, let me talk about uh, my student, because I have not so many experience here in Kiev, because I just arrived. But uh, at uh, YED in Milan, in the school where I teach, we have tons of Ukrainian students uh, and okay. they are creative, they are uh, uh, talented, uh, they have a vision uh, totally different from the Italian one and when you mix uh, their vision with the Italian vision, something magic happens in every field of design, graphic design, product design, it doesn't matter. They learn the method and uh, I think they have a cultural uh, behavior that bring them, the students, to become the next generation of better designer in this world. Wow. Maybe better than the Italian one. This is an excellent feedback, but uh, you say that they have a different vision. Uh, vision. What exactly are you talking about? Uh, it's very difficult to explain because, you know, when uh, we're talking about vision, uh, we use our eyes. Uh, so explaining a vision uh, with words is like explaining a color with your nose. It's very difficult. They come from a country very uh, different. Of course. The capital, it's uh, uh, a messy place, uh, um, a big metropolis, a big uh, uh, city. But Ukraine uh, have also a lot of farm around, a lot of nature around. Uh, it have a, a wonderful past. I mean, wonderful from the historic point of view. And uh, I don't know, maybe here it's typical because a fish in water never realizes it's in water. But when they come in Italy, we discover uh, something new. Uh, we discover the color of Ukraine. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the, the Ukrainian designer treat the color in a totally different way from the Italian one. Uh, they use a, a more, for example, a yellow color in design. A yellow color in Italy is a color uh, never used for uh, luxury, but sometimes Ukra Ukrainian designer use yellow for luxury. So it's a cultural difference mm -hmm. that make me appreciate Ukrainian designer. This is the reason why one when uh, Instituto Europeo Design proposed to me, you want to go to Ukraine, to Ukraine, I immediately say yes. I want to go because I'm very fascinated by this student. I never had the opportunity to visit the country. And this little visit, I want to come back, as I told you, confirm that here there are a lot of creative vision, a lot of talented people. Uh, we have the opportunity yesterday to test some uh, Ukrainian designer here in Kiev, uh, the iZone co-working. It's a very famous place here. Do you want to test them? And is this the aim of this of this uh, visit to invite some students to join the Instituto Europeo di Design? Yes, it is of course, uh, because I think uh, to find your way to be creative. Uh, because, you know, we live in a world that seems that never change ideas, mm -hmm. but ideas are going to change the world at the end. Uh, I think you have to leave your comfort zone. You have to move to another country with totally different culture. Um, yeah, I mean, to broaden your imagination yeah. and to broaden your creativity, you of course. You have to see something new, something that looks alien to you. A funny thing is when uh, the first time Ukrainian students come to Italy, um, they are like uh, scared by the way Italians speak, the way Italians argue or kiss you. But at the end of the day, at the end of the three years of studying design in any field, as I told you... They enjoy it? They enjoy it, but they transform it. It's transformative. They become not Italian, not Ukrainian, something new. And mm -hmm. this is the kind of people that we so want for our So they do absorb future. this culture. Yeah, um, absolutely. You are saying that uh, you teach Ukrainians in Instituto Europeo di Design. Are we talking about dozens of Ukrainians or hundreds of Ukrainians? What figures are we talking about? Uh, we talk, I teach in Milan, but as you know, our uh, school is present in uh, Spain and Italy, in Italy more than one city. We have Milan, Rome, Turin. We're talking about hundreds of students, of course, uh, 
uh, in the different uh, part of Italy. Uh, I had the opportunity in my career, uh, uh, academic career till now, to have uh, more or less uh, uh, 50 or 60 Ukrainian students in, uh, in total. Uh, I know they sometimes they prefer Rome because, you know, Rome it's like uh, it's the, the capital. The capital. Sometimes they prefer Milan because they are fascinated maybe by the fashion design industry yeah. and Milan fashion is Fashion capital. Fashion. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I think, uh, uh, and uh, it's, this number is increasing by time. Mm -hmm. Ukrainian students want to be, Ukrainian people, don't call it just students. Uh, they are the future of Ukraine. They want to explore the world. They want to travel. And they think they have to come back because I want they stay in Italy. I love this guy and girls. But they have to come back in Ukraine because there is tons of stuff to do here and it's a good field for innovation. There is a lot sure. of perspective here, yeah. yeah. Um, how would you estimate, how competitive are Ukrainians uh, on the international market in terms of graphic design? Uh, right now, not so competitive. I, I must Why, be honest. Yes, yes I, I do want this true assessment. Why so? Um, maybe they... Ukrainian, it's a new country. I mean, it's old, but uh, new in terms of uh, uh, this uh, globalized world we live in. They realized just now that they have potential. The past of this country, it's totally different from the Italian one. I think uh, um, they uh, know very well how to treat the color. Just look at the flag of Ukraine. It's one of the best flag ever. You know, the first rule of a flag, it's... Uh, also a kid can, must have to design the flag. And the Ukrainian flag, it represents all the country. We have the ground, we have the sky. So, and it's a, one of the most uncommon country, uh, I'm sorry, uncommon flag around Europe. Think about European flag. Ukrainian flag is the only one with this color. There are not so, flag, so many flags with that, that color. And from a flag of a country, you can understand the people of that country. They want to explode, but they are waiting. Waiting for what? Ukrainian is a re country ready to explode in any field of design. They are a good graphic designer. I'm looking around in Kiev, and I see a lot of uh, uh, good shops. For example, I, I see a cafeteria this morning with a good sign, good menu. But they treat it like, yes, I do it. No, it's a revolution. It brings money because people prefer that coffee instead of another coffee that don't, don't use graphic design. So I think uh, Ukraine is there ready to become a good place for design. Uh, but To people, become this global movement. Yeah, global movement. Uh, thanks to the people who study outside of Ukraine. You know what I mean? It's like Italy. Italy become a very big uh, uh, creative country when people start to leave the country. They mm -hmm. go to United States, they go to Germany, they go everywhere. And when they come back, they bring new vision. When it, they explore something else. Yeah. Well, um, you had some workshop here in Kiev yeah. recently, right? Uh, tell us, how did it go? Mm. The workshop was, was very interesting. Uh, this is an interesting question. I don't want to ruin it with my answer. Um, the, we had this workshop uh, in the I zone, as I told you here in Kiev, uh, the title was uh, Landmark Design. Landmark Design, when we say landmark, uh, most of the people think to uh, the Eiffel Tower or the Statue of Liberty, uh, this big monument uh, that uh, on the vocabulary are called landmark. But uh, we explored how to create uh, uh, an identity for an entire city, starting from a small district. For example, creating, we bring some examples from all around the world, from great design examples like the Isola neighborhood in Milan, the new creative and um, innovative neighborhood of Milan, where they make this little island made, made by wood and metal, painted in a purple color, and they created a spot that when you walk, you immediately realize you enter in something new in the city, another part of the city. Uh, since the, uh, we explored also cheap design, for example, the Market Theatre of Seattle, where uh, artists uh, start uh, decades ago to stick the bubblegum on the wall, and uh, right now the wall is full of bubblegum, and uh, the government uh, uh, declare as a monument, and people go there to visit. So, um, landmark design was very interesting. There was 
this group of girls, because at the end they had like one hour to make a quick experiment, not an entire project, a draft, who make this uh, Shevchenko point with all the statue of Shevchenko that mm -hmm. uh, uh, dressed, for example, in different color, uh, in different uh, moods that uh, with your smartphone go going to give you information about what to do in the city. They think to this statue in a smaller version to place uh, all around the city, like you have to find the hidden Shevchenko, and this is for tourists. Uh, another uh, group made a project for the suburban part of the city. Uh, all the city have this uh, invisible ugliness of the suburban, the grey suburban. Yes, they every think, city in the world. Yeah, I think, every yes. city. It doesn't matter in Ukraine or in Italy, or every somewhere city. somewhere else, yeah. And they think to this, uh, just using colors and shape to transform the grey in into something beautiful. something beautiful, but with uh, a lot of simplicity, in order the people can say, hey, I come from the green district, I come from the yellow district, and they have something to talk about. When you mm -hmm. give a simple color to a building, a gray, it's a, you know, anonymous color. The green one, it's dedicated to agriculture. The red one, to passion. The yellow one, to creativity. And uh, sometimes a simple color transforms something in the mind of people and start a little revolution that can change the world. So it seems like you had a very practical training I have a very practical training. Well, uh, what's uh, what's your opinion then from this training? How do Ukrainian designers follow up on the um, latest world trends in uh, in graphic design? And also, mm. if we're talking about programming, uh, do they use the modern programming, or is it still in the uh, previous they are era? Totally integrated with the rest of the world. Okay. I'm sorry if I say to you this, I know you want to hear, no, they are back, they are programming. They... I would like to hear positive <laughs> things. You know, sometimes <laughs> a bad news is always a good news when we are on a screen, but this is just, I'm just This kidding. is not the case. They use all the software, uh, okay. they are very talented in using software. They uh, know how to use technology very well. They know how to uh, use not just the, the software, but also the hardware. Uh, they know how to manage video. But as I always love to say, software is just a tool. It's like having a keyboard. Everybody have a keyboard that, uh, on, on his desk, but no, not everybody uh, is a, a famous it's journalist, capable. you know? Yes, it's capable to use it, right. From the point of view of technology, this is something common, not just in Ukraine. The new generation, they born with, uh, I always love to say, Photoshop in the DNA. You know, uh, my generation, I'm not so old like you, but we are a little bit older than the, our student. Um, it was complicated using software. We have to learn the interface. Right yeah. now, the, the, the kids... They're let me born say, with this. Yeah, ability, let me say for kids, sure. uh, they born with the graphic interface of software uh, since they were young. So they don't have to lose time to learn. They use the technology very well. And they, uh, this is the reason why they spend a lot of time on thinking, on creativity on finding creative solution and I love this. This is the world where I want to live and uh, I see here on the next corner we are very close. That there are many people here like this. Well, uh, I would like to ask about uh, institute uh, you're working at. How does the studies differ uh, in Institute Europeo di Design from the other educational facil facilities? Uh, first of all, uh, Instituto Europeo di Design, it's uh, older uh, very old school. We celebrate last year 50 years, uh, so it opened in 1966. Okay. Uh, the, there is, um, before talking about IED, there is a um, global misunderstanding to associate design with art. Uh, Instituto Europeo di Design, it's a school where um, you're going to learn how to be a designer, not an artist. You know, it's not an art academy, because you know art uh, doesn't exist, just artists exist. Uh, if you want to be an artist, uh, somebody else has to call you artist. <laughs> we teach <laughs> the method of design. Interesting approach. We teach our students, first of all, how to be a cultural uh, um, person, how to speak with government, how to say no to a client. We're not just teaching typography or materials or printing. Of course, a design school has to teach this. We teach how to deal with uh, clients, how to deal with economy, because nowadays economy is a part of a design project. Of course, you have to stand for yourself. Yeah. If you request 10,000 million of euro for a project, it could be the best project on the world, but nobody going to buy it and nobody going to understand it. This is the reason why we offer not just Photoshop course or, you know, color theory course. We have presentation techniques, works, 
because nowadays uh, design it's easy to do is being a designer that it's hard they have to know how to speak with people uh, it depends you know in front of you must uh, you can have different kind of people if you talk with a politician you must know how to uh, be understood understand sorry understandable by a politician of course if you sp speak with a um, guy from a bank you have to present a project in a different way uh, so I think the um, the best things we teach to our student is uh, how to uh, be a, a professional figure composed by three different jobs. Uh, an artist, not because we shape the artist, because design of course work with aesthetic. It's something that we're going to see, a product like a, a smartphone that we watch and attract us. A philosopher. You know, philosophy, it's always say, ah, yeah, it's a useless uh, discipline. No, I, they have to watch people, how they move, how they interact with a building, with a room, with a piece of paper, with a glass. Yeah, to be able to analyze and think, yeah. think deeper and than the, the others. And the third professional figures, figure is the engineer. Mm -hmm. Because design is never a single piece, it's always a strategy, a system. Imagine this wall full of gear. If you remove the smallest one, the gear doesn't rotate anymore. Uh, system means, uh, people are going to perceive the new smartphone like a one single object. No, inside there are a lot of competence, product design, engineering design, graphic design for the interface, interaction design for the usage of interface. At the end of the day, people say the smartphone. But imagine how many uh, design fields are inside a single small smartphone in your pocket. So from what I understood, IAED is teaching how to be a professional and a personality at the same time. Uh, Ukrainians are not that compatible on the, uh, on the international market yet, but then uh, being a graduate from the IED, what does it mean in terms of employment for the Ukrainian students? In terms of employment, of course, it means uh, the, the school offer a lot of partnership with the Italian companies. Uh, imagine a lot of our students after the thesis on the third year, uh, they don't do holidays in summer because they immediately go for internship. Uh, and this means uh, it's part of uh, the study because uh, you are always a, st a study, uh, student if you do three months of vacation in, uh, in the summer. When they finish, they immediately have to go to make a professional experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a good network uh, for uh, job placement. Second, there, it's a, a worldwide and European recognized degree. Uh, and third one, they are ready to work because they learned uh, not also on the three years studying at, uh, at YED uh, with a regular course. In three years, they make a lot of uh, that we call special project with real clients, real Italian or international companies. Uh, we had a project with San Raffaele Hospital, the biggest hospital mm -hmm. in Milan every year, where they don't do only the creativity, they have to speak with the client. Clients sometimes scream because that project requires a lot of money, so they have to uh, edit it again. So this is uh, what our students do when they exit. They become, I always love to say, our competitor, not my colleagues. You know what, uh, design is look so easy to do. It seems like you press a button and a logo appear, a project appear, but it's not like this. And uh, a lot of people make the fake designer just because they know how to use Photoshop. But uh, uh, the main tool you have to use in design, it's your brain. You know what I mean? And uh, these guys, when they go out, uh, they're going to steal my client one day, <laughs> probably. But uh, I'm going to cry with just one eye if they steal my client because they know how to do this job, how to treat not just the creativity. Creativity is the most easy thing in this world. Every, everyone is a creative guy. The problem is make a method on creativity. You know, cre creativity is like a bomb. Everybody uh, can use a bomb, you know, dynamite. Uh, we see in the cartoons, you have a lighter and a dynamite and uh, mm -hmm. it's done. But if you want to use dynamite like a professional, you know where to place it, how many kilos of dynamite you have to place it. So it's not about being creative, it's about learning a method on design. How to work. And this opens you every door. If you are a good designer, you're never going to have a problem to finding a job and a client. Well, you mentioned uh, that you call them not your students, but your competitors. Let's hope that uh, some of the names of these Ukrainian competitors will emerge among the legendary ones in the, in the sphere of graphic design. For now, I thank you for being our guest in this studio. That's all we have time for now. Thank you so much. Thank you.
This was Giuseppe Liuzzo, Academic Coordinator of Graphic Design Department at IED Milan. Thank you for watching Head to Head. I'm Alas Gardjuk. Goodbye. Thank you.